Hey and welcome back. Our next patient on the workbench is this hybrid HMH Gobo 2 moving head spotlight. This thing was doing its self test and everything up on the ceiling, hanging upside down, until I plugged in the DMX cable. As soon as I plugged in the DMX cable, it did this. You can hear the cooling fans kick in, but the rest of the light isn't working. Okay, so let's turn it around. I have already loosened the screws, so we could save some time on camera here. If we look at the DMX input port here, see that metal plate? Okay, that's not supposed to be there. Well, it's not supposed to be lying down, shorting out those pins. So let's gently prise it off. And as you can see, as soon as I've done that, the light has sprung to life. And do we have anything on the display? Yes, we do. It's on its default mode. Down, sense, enter. Okay, so as you can see, it's now awake and it's putting a dot on the ceiling for some strange reason. There's a dot on the ceiling. Don't know why it wants to do that. Not that's what it wants to do. Okay, so menu. The, the screen is running upside down because this thing normally hangs on the ceiling, so... Okay, so last... Hold, okay, sound activated mode. Auto mode, there we go. Now we're getting something. Okay, so the only problem was when I plugged in the DMX cable... Oh, that was flashing. That um, little metal plate. Obviously got caught by the jack. And it got got mangled into the data pins and shorted them out or shorted out the ground and that. So let's take a look at how we can smooth this out. Okay, so if you look over here, here's our tab. Let's pull the tab out. And the tab has a wire on it. So here's the tab. So let's just bend it up a bit. Bend the end up. I don't know what this tab actually does. Oh, it just makes contact with the outside of the DMX connector normally. Now to try to push it back in. I think the shell on your DMX connector isn't actually connected to anything. So this shouldn't actually be necessary, but we'll just leave it in how the factory put it together. Okay. Hmm. Let me unplug this cable. So I'm trying to get it into this little groove on the top there. I don't know how well you can see it. Okay, well it's in the groove. Bring it all the way to the front of the groove. I'm not too worried about that because I don't have anything connected onto the shell of the connector. Onto the shell of the DMX cable connector. Just take it more forward. And I'm actually going to bend the back of this tab up. Just so it's a bit away from the printed circuit board there. And then this thing should be good to go. I should be able to plug a DMX connector in there. Let me plug this cable in now. It should go in nice and easily. And it clips onto that metal plate. So that actual metal plate also serves as clipping to stop this cable from falling out. And if I look there now, yeah, it's not causing a problem. It's not bent out or shorting. It still works. It still works when I plug in the power con cable. So that looks good. So I am going to button this thing up and I'll see you in a bit. So there you have it, was, was going to be a fun video to try and figure out what's wrong on the circuit board or why the control boards are not getting any power. Actually it turned out to be a stupid little thing that might have been able to be sorted out from the outside if I had only taken a look at that XLR connector. Well I hope you learned something, if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button. If you click on that little bell at the bottom it will let you know as soon as we upload new content. I hope you enjoyed that.